what is up for video like three today or something like that so uh, we are going to be using the lavalier in this one um, I recorded a video earlier about the lavalier mic and then I actually dropped a setup video for the mixer and the headset um, I was not using the lavalier in that mic so if the audio quality is a little different my apologies I actually had already had this video pre-recorded um, but after watching it a couple times I wasn't super happy with the audio so what we did here is I'm just going to remake the video the, re -video, the video is going to be my, my top three mice currently. Okay, so you guys know me at this point. You guys know I swap mice uh, like I swap shirts. Okay, so this is my current top three mice. This could change all the time. And when things do change, I'll do an update video with what changed and why did I change it. So hopefully the audio is good and we don't have any problems and all that stuff's great. So without wasting any more time, we're going to jump over to my number like one, two, or three pick, I guess. I, these are really no in specific order, guys. Like, I like all three of these mice exactly the same. Um, it's just, you know, the pros and cons of each one. So we're going to jump over to one of them right now. Shocker, right? I mean, did you guys think that the Logitech G305 wasn't going to be on this list? Because if you did, you obviously haven't been watching my videos. So pros and cons of this guy. All right, so we're just going to kind of give you the, uh, the old size comparison here. So it's got a great feel to it. It's a great mouse. Uh, it's got a little bit of a hump, but it's a small mouse, okay? So pros, small mouse, lightweight, does its job. Feet are pretty good on it, sensor's good. Only problem I ever had with it was the um, Cooler Master MP510. I had a lot of issues with it uh, spinning out on there and the, the LOD was absolutely horrible. Clicks on this guy are absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm actually going to put it up to my mic and just give you kind of a click test real quick. So we're going to go off camera for a second, but this is going to be your mouse one, mouse two, side buttons, scroll wheel. So again, guys, this mouse is absolutely a fantastic mouse. It's 60 bucks. It's wireless. You get a ton of charge on it. It uses a double A battery. If you want to get the lightest mouse you possibly can, just put a double A uh, lithium battery in it. And if you want to go a step further, down below in my links, um, I do have the uh, the triple A batteries that you can get with the converter, which makes it makes it the size of a double A. But it gives you a few grams off if you're into that kind of thing where you want the lightest freaking mouse humanly possible. But with the double A battery, I, I think it's good. Plus, I don't like a super super light mouse, so this is going to be my guy all day. This is on a GSR SE pad. And that's just me barely touching it. We're getting really good glide distance. I have zero issues with this mouse. I mean, it's for all intents and purposes, for the money and what you get, the best wireless experience you're possibly ever going to get. So that's going to be one of the three, obviously. Um, we're going to go ahead and kick over to the second mouse right now. Have I really surprised anybody with this list yet? I mean, Logitech G Pro Wireless. Um, I mean, really? Like, if you're following the channel, you know this is probably going to be in the video. The last mouse might shock a few people. Won't shock everybody, but there were some people in the stream the other night that was trying to guess, and some of them were close. But um, G Pro Wireless, if you have the money, this is the best mouse you're going to get wirelessly. This is going to be great for, like, medium-sized hands or if you like the Palm. Uh, the 305 is going to be great for smaller hands, and it's more of the size of, like, the 303 or something like that. The hump's a little bigger on it, and you can use buttons on either side of this mouse, which is super great if you're a left-handed player. Um, overall, sensor's fantastic. It uses the Hero sensor, internal battery. It's uh, rechargeable. It charges super quick. The mouse feet are way better on this, I think, than the 305. And the battery holds charge like a freaking champ. Like, I have no issues with this. You got to watch some of the batches though. They did, uh, the first batch that Logitech came out with were flawless. There was absolutely no issues with them. Um, my love-hate relationship is I buy the mouse, I use it for a while, I get rid of it, and I wind up buying it again. So my first batch was absolutely flawless. I think it was in the 1800s or something like that. Um, I got another batch about midway through and I double click issues, rubbing, it was horrible. Sent it back, it's got a refund. Um, I got another one. Um, it didn't have a double click, but it had rubbing. The rubbing really doesn't affect you unless you press down real hard, but it was enough to annoy me, so I returned it. And then I got a, another one, which is this one, and this is from uh, one of the newer batches, zero issues. So I think hopefully maybe they corrected them going forward with some of the new ones. But I mean, glide test on this thing too is, is, is pretty nice. Um, this actually weighs a little less than what the 305 does, 
and you can take the bottom part right here you can take this off if you want to but again i don't need necessarily you know a, a 10 gram mouse to uh to play a game but you're not going to have any hiccups or problems with this this thing is absolutely a freaking dream and it's a very nice mouse so that's going to be number two and we're going to jump to number three some people are going to be surprised some not but let's do that right now so number three zowie s2 davina now i know a lot of you people see me playing with the s1 lately um really liking it it's a fantastic mouse let me tell you why the s2 took the place of the s1 the S1 is a fantastic mouse for me. I palm grip. I don't have any problems with it. I can play for hours. My only issue with that mouse is my aim is not very good with it. Um, my aim is really good with the S2. I can't play as long as what I normally do, but it's a fantastic mouse, okay? So that's why I put this one over the S1 because I probably would take this over that one if I absolutely had to. Um, size and shape is great for most people. Small to medium hands. It's got just enough of a bump where it's, it's comfortable. I have no issues with it. Um, mine's paracorded and hyperglided, but I mean, just overall, fantastic mouse. Great for everybody. You don't even have to put the hyperglides on it. The feet that Zowie comes with are phenomenal. Um, even the cord's good. It's a rubber cord. You can, If you have a bungee, you're not going to have any problems with it. I'm going to do a quick uh, click test. I know I didn't do it on the G Pro Wireless, but they're pretty close to the 305, so I didn't figure I'd, I'd bother with that. So we're going to do mouse one and mouse two. Mouse one, mouse two, side buttons, scroll wheel. Now that's a question that I get a lot is, do you have any, you know, mushy buttons with the S2s? No, they made them crisp. The only thing is that wheel again. But here's the thing, for gaming, I like that wheel. It's very tactile. You actually have to push on it. I like that. Um, it's not a browser mouse, but Zowie doesn't want you to, you know, look at websites with this. They want you to game with it. So that's why it's a little more tactile. So we'll switch back to me. We'll finish it up and then uh, that'll be it. Well, guys, that's it. Hopefully that answers some of your questions. Hopefully the sound quality is good on this one. Hopefully the lavalier is doing its job. Um, how many of you guys were surprised by my top three? Comments below. Because I know some people were close, but they couldn't get all three. And like I said, this is going to change all the time, man. I'm very subjective on some mice, some I'm not. So... As they change, I'll tell you which one drops, which one you know gets removed, which one gets replaced, why I did it, um, so on and so forth. Waiting on that glorious Model O. Uh, May 13th, we can pay for it. So, and it said four to five days after that. So we're hoping by the 18th, 19th of the month, maybe I got my hands on it and can do a first impression for you. Hopefully that's good build quality. So questions, comments below, subscribe, turn notifications on, tell your friends and family, tell your neighbors, tell everybody that you know. Let's subscribe. Let's get the army growing. We are just gaining like crazy every day. We are so close to 1K, boys. So let's get it, all right? So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I'm just trying to get you guys some cool content out, and I'm always, as you see, trying to upgrade the channel for video quality. Um, let me know if you like the changes. That's it. That's all I got for you guys. Enjoy your evening. I'm probably going to try to stream, but I think I'm going to stream, then upload the video. So it's irrelevant, but we do try to stream every night. Um, on my YouTube channel. So that's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching. All that good stuff. Yada, 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 yada. I'll see you guys later. Peace.